Nestled in the mountains of Pennsylvania, there is a city called Bethlehem. Rooted in history, surrounded by nature, thriving in culture, and offering kindness to all of us who find our way here. When you drive across the bridge to go into Bethlehem, you see the church and the old brick buildings and just the atmosphere of it that's quiet and uh, pleasing to the eye. When I visited Moravian for the first time, it truly was love at first sight. I felt this warm presence, this warm greeting when I walked through the doors. And when I introduced myself to the woman checking me in, she already knew my story and she was so interested to hear more and to explain to me all of the ways Moravian could be a good fit for my next part of the chapter. Right when I came on campus, the first time I toured, everybody was saying hi. Everybody had a smile. They knew my name. I wasn't just a number here. Raven found me in my senior year of high school, and when I came up and visited the campus, I completely fell in love with it. I got to take a tour of the mayor's office. It opened me up to like opportunities I didn't know that I could have in a school. One thing that really stuck out to me about Moravian when touring schools and figuring out where I wanted to go is that I really felt like Moravian wanted me. You know, a lot of other schools, it's very, oh, you're so lucky to be here, but Moravian was very much, we're so lucky to have you. We're so excited to have you. I was lonely and hungry for the love that waited for me behind your old faded walls, yet I resisted until one day I fell in love with your quiet strength, your resilience, your beauty. And despite having brain cancer, I have been able to accomplish more here at Moravian than any other time in my life, and it's thanks to the people here at Moravian. We met at Moravian. In Western Civ, we've been married for 59 and a half years one week after we graduated from Moravian. With small class sizes and serene settings, the students, faculty, and alumni dream big and use their lives to create change, both locally as well as around the globe. So I'm really hoping that through my work, if I can find something that even keeps somebody alive for a day or a week longer so that their family might have some time to see them one last time while they're feeling good, while they're still them, and say goodbye before they lose them forever. That's really my ultimate goal. Moravian has definitely pushed me out of my comfort zone. It has made me want to do things that I never thought I would want to do before. I kind of figured that I needed to follow my own footsteps because college was such an important part of my life, or would be, and I chose Moravian. It was probably the best decision I ever made. It provided me with great education, socialization, and an opportunity to see the world. I came upon Moravian at the time in my life where I was looking for direction. It put me onto a path that has changed my life enormously. Moravian, I double majored in studio art and in religion and also took a minor in Spanish. All three disciplines I currently use in my work as a high school teacher and also in my volunteer ministry in the Moravian Church. What came clear to me at Moravian was the value and importance of service. That is really the mark of what you do with your life and it influenced my thinking about my studies and my long-term plans. Eight years after graduating from Moravian, I entered law school. And when I think back on the reasons for why I chose law, I recall very vividly how much I learned about the commitment of Moravian communities around the world to foster encouraged social justice. When I realized the extent of the unmet legal needs around this country, part of what I began to do was train lawyers in the U.S. who had a deep commitment to social justice to look for ways that they could do well economically so that they could do the good things in the communities that were desperately needed by Americans with unmet legal needs. And so over the course of many years, my life has taken me to Europe, to Africa, to Latin America, to Asia, working with young people who had the same kind of commitment to social justice that I was able to forge here at Moravian University. I've always resonated with John Amos Comedius' philosophy 
The people are fundamentally good, that education is the way of light that equips and illuminates our minds to help us build a better future. And that's why I continue to stay here in the Lehigh Valley near Moravian University, my alma mater. From there, I was able to become a resident advisor, president and vice president of Black Student Union while I was on campus, as well as do a stint on the uh, student government. And that, you know, led me to different opportunities, along with meeting a very great alumni of Moravian College who opened my eyes to an opportunity to uh, be an intern at the Federal Reserve Bank of Philadelphia. I was able to meet successful alumni and see their career path. Uh, in doing so, I was able to obtain an internship at the Federal Reserve Bank of Philadelphia, as well as a career in the future. And those tools and resources, or that experience, helped me be in a position to provide for my family. I had spent a lot of time in Cuba, spent a lot of time in Haiti, spent a lot of time in the Dominican Republic, and I put a foundation together to help a very large number of uh, homeless indigent children there. And we support four or five orphanages, and we provide them with their daily needs of food and shelter, security, education. I now have girls that are 25 years old, that were five years old when I met them, that are now school teachers, that are doctors, that are models, others are unemployed, but they're volunteering. To complete that cycle is the most valuable thing, the most meaningful part of it. That's what the joy is for me and the people that say, Charlie, I, I want to do more. The dreams, careers, and ambitions of these people shine brightly around the world, and their sense of gratitude for Moravians' role in shaping their lives is front and center. Thanks to Moravian and all the faculty here, my angels, <laughs> I was able to again come back to my home, Moravian, and be able to complete the accelerated nursing program here and graduate as a nurse. I'm just around the best, like I'm around like the best people that I can be, like all my friends and teammates. My teammates are great and we all get along and we just have that family that we built here. You can't take away from someone. Thank you for creating a healthy learning environment that was conducive to my success, to my development, to helping me learn about advocating for myself because that gives me the tools that I need to be able to advocate for others in this role. Moravian has instilled its values in our life from the very beginning. We certainly never regretted any of our time at Moravian. All, our whole future started at Moravian. You believed in me when I did not. When I thought all was lost, you said, it's going to be okay. And all these years later, it turns out you were right. Thank you for being an impeccable host for over 200 years of student graduations, promotions, faculty and staff parties. Mis padres son de Guatemala y El Salvador y yo nunca pensé que iba a lograr este sueño de ir al colegio y estudiar. My advice to anyone thinking about coming to Moravian is to just do it. It has been the best decision I have made. For someone who didn't think it was possible to make it this far in life and being able to have the opportunity that Moravian has given me is I'll forever be grateful. The greatest joy in this endeavor is putting children onto a path in their life, and that's what Moravian did for me. This path became my path because of Moravian. Had it not been for Moravian, there would be no Charles Decker Foundation. Mm -hmm.